What are going to be this year's too soon Halloween costumes? Blackface Trudeau. You know as a brown Canadian guy I always have a hard time with Halloween costumes. I've been a Viking, a pirate, Blade, Agent 47, Mario, Flavor Flav, a ghost, Steve Harvey, and the Red Power Ranger, among other things. And unless I'm a supernatural being I always end up portraying a white person or a black person. The chance to be brownface Justin Trudeau seems almost too tempting to pass up on. I could be a brown guy portraying a white guy portraying a brown guy. Antonio Brown in some sort of Steelers Raiders Patriots portmanteau uniform. While doing blackface. Emma B. Jeffrey Epstein. Rogue or no rogue? I saw a dude in 2012 go as Jerry Sandusky. His sweatshirt said pedo state. Undead pile complete with blow up alien and sign protesting area 51. Sexy Greta Thunberg. This comment right here. Officer. Can't believe you didn't go for hot. Due to global warming. Greta Thunberg. Amazon rainforest. Well. In all fairness I don't think anyone would be invited into the party while they were on fire. Second term Trump. The world's not ready. A Hong Kong protester. Even scarier. A Hong Kong cop. Bill Clinton in a blue dress. Garfield the cat. Grant Thompson but ghost-like. Oh no. Jussie Smollett. All you need is some rope and a Subway sandwich. Juicy Smoulet. I approve. Look up Easter in Spain. That's gonna be my costume. Make sure you burn a lowercase t while you are in costume. Slutty. Now legal of age. Twin towers. They are finally old enough to party and are burning for a good time. Sexy Robbie Rotten. How to get murdered 101. Stan Lee. New Zealand shooter. It's just a black bar with the phrase this content has been censored by the New Zealand government. Visual distribution of this costume could result in a 40 year prison sentence. Bruh. The library at Alexandria. Werewolf. In the spirit of Halloween, paranormal or not, what is the scariest, creepiest or most unsettling experience of your life? 15 years old. I had just got home from work. So I went to my bedroom to change out of my work clothes and get ready for bed. I'm in the middle of undressing when I look to my bedroom window to catch my reflection. And I see a man's face. I dropped to the floor and turned off the lights. Scrambling to get dressed. Still watching the window. The face is gone. But I'm still watching. Then. A fucking camera. No face. Just a camera pointed at me sitting on the floor. I bolt from my room and tell my mom and brother. My brother went outside. And our ladder from the backyard was lying there. But nobody around. Couldn't sleep for a year after that. Just stared at that window. Haven't thought about that in years. Thanks Reddit. When I was around 16 my rapidly growing family finally moved from the house I had spent my entire life in. As you would expect. We spent a lot of time fondly remembering things we used to do in the house as we were packing everything up. At some point I decided to go into the downstairs closet with a flashlight and read. Something I used to do when I was younger to get some peace and quiet. Now. This is one of those deep closets that goes under the stairs. It went back around 8 feet and then had a left turn into a very low maybe 3 foot high space. This space was largely occupied by a mountain of old blankets and stuffed animals. Of course. This is the most fluffy spot to sit and read. About an hour in I shift a little to get comfortable and I hear a low, slow, warped, hoarse voice say you always make me happy. I flip my shit. Hit my head on the low ceiling. 
and practically broke the door down getting out. After hyperventilating and explaining to my family why there was no color left on my face I went back to see what it was. It was my stuffed little bear from when I was 3 or 4 years old that I happened to lean on Juuist right to press his belly. When I pressed his stomach again though, nothing. This poor bear I hadn't played with since I was a toddler used the last of its power. Used its dying breath to tell me I made it happy. You make me happy too little bear. When you're not making me piss myself. This is not paranormal, but was immensely creepy at the time. I was visiting my hometown and decided to pick up my old high school friend from his house and take him to dinner and a drink to catch up. He is kinda stressed and tells me that his ex, with whom he had broken up with over two years prior, has been stalking him and harassing him. I drive him home afterwards, and it starts to drizzle, as I drop him off at his house. The neighborhood was dark and quiet by now. We both notice a bag tied to my side view mirror. It was lightly attached when we were at the restaurant. We open it to see a poorly taken photo of a tree taken at night with flash. There was a brief letter, obviously written from his ex. That said, I buried our first love letter under this tree years ago. This tree is growing from our love. I made sure my friend got into his house alright and got the heck out of there. 